Hi, it's Anthony from carplaylife.com and today we're doing a update video on how to update the Android 10 AI box from MIC. This is the Snapdragon 665 Android AI box and this is my most favorite AI boxes out there at the moment. There is an update that they released recently and I asked them about whether there is an update to include the touch and hold split screen function and there is indeed an update for that. So. I've got a guide for you today on how to get the download and how to apply it onto the dongle. So let's get started. So first things first, you need to go to a web address, which I'll put in the notes down below. Click on that, it'll take you straight to the zip and it'll start downloading. The zip is one gig in file size, so make sure you've got enough storage on that. And then first we need to unzip the zip file. So we're gonna do that first. You can do this on Mac or PC. And you've got two files here. You've got the update.zip and you've got a box.auto file. We now need to get a micro SD card here. And on that SD card, we need to put that into the computer so we can actually put some files on it. So I've got a micro SD card caddy here and we're gonna insert the micro SD card inside the caddy. And we're gonna put that into my Mac. And with that in the Mac, we need to put it in the root file of the SD card. So we need to put the update file and we drag the zip into the folder of the SD card. That's now gonna copy over, so make sure the SD card is at least one gig, or at least probably two gig is probably the minimum that you'll be able to use for this update. Right with the update done and uploaded to the SD card, we can now safely remove the SD card from the drive. So we've got it back out. We now take that out of the caddy and then now we now need to return to the dongle. So here we have the SD card or ready loaded with the update.zip file. I've got my CoralVision CarPlay Lite head unit here just to make it a lot easier to record. And we've got the MIC AI adapter here attached to the display and we've got the whole thing running at, at the moment. So we need to insert the SD card into the SD card slot. I think it's the copper side facing upwards, yep. So that is inserted. It's gonna start playing the media, so I'm gonna stop that. We need to go back to the home menu. So it's now found just after a few seconds, it's found that the firmware is available. We don't want to wipe the data after it's finished, so we'll keep that unchecked. And so we'll hit install, and now it's gonna restart and hopefully apply the update. So we've got a blue flashing at the moment, and it's got a fast flash for the updating and the flashing of the update. And it's one gig, so it's gonna take a little while to transfer and apply. Right. It's now stopped flashing and it's now got a steady pace and we've got the dongle booting up now. Android is now starting back up. Now they did tell me to do the wipe data and format flash, but I think if you do that, you're gonna lose all the applications that you've already installed and that's not great. So I haven't got all my data all wiped there. So we're gonna quickly get connected to the internet. So we're connected to the internet now. And now we're gonna go into our settings, scroll down to the about, and here we got the 2022 February 22 update that has been applied. So if we go into Google Maps and then we hold down the home button, and now we've got split screen. So now we've got split screen. So we could go into YouTube, it's off the screen here, so that's a little bit of a bug. Here we go, so we selected YouTube, that's gonna fire up. And then from here we can go to our channel, watch a video. So here we got the YouTube video running and we've got Google navigation, which is really, really cool. And you've got side-by-side -side functionality. Now I don't really know what else comes with this update. So things like Netflix doesn't support split screen. So there's something that we really can't do there. But you've got things like YouTube. Uh, you can probably do Spotify split screen as well. So you can have that running. And then beside that, you can have Google Maps. And that's them both running there. And you can choose to go with either one of them or close it all off. And that goes back to full screen again. But let's see if YouTube does it in picture. So no, YouTube still cancels out when you go back to the main menu. So there's not really much else to report. Maybe it fixes a few things in terms of stability and compatibility, but basically, that's how you apply the update to get split screen running on the Android 10 AI box from MIC. And it's other 
equivalent brands. All right, thanks for watching. I hope you found this helpful. If it has, leave us a like down below and let me know in the comments if you have any questions about this update. You can check the review of this dongle up in this top playlist here. Hit the subscribe button down below to catch all my future content. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Bye.